Ladies and gentlemen, this is your pilot speaking. My name is Tseno, I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day and in today's episode I have something really, really cool for you. And this is the 2020 Mercedes-Benz GLE Coupe and it's absolutely awesome. So sit back, relax and enjoy the episode. But before we dig in any further with review, let's date back in 2015 when Mercedes-Benz decided to take a piece of the pie of BMW's very successful X6 model and this is how the first generation of the GLE was born. It was based on the regular GLE and despite that it had some really big disadvantages such as the very, very dated cabin for that time, it quickly became huge success. That meant that this second generation needed to be as best as it gets because the constant increasing rivalry between the SUV segment in the likes of the BMW X6 and Audi Q8 as well as the Porsche Cayenne Coupe has never been bigger. And I think the result is absolutely stunning. They've made a really, really good car. And let's answer the most important question. And what does a coupe SUV mean? It's quite simple. It means a statement. A statement that says, I don't care what you think about my car. I don't care what you think about me. I don't mind that reduced practicality in order to get that better looks and that compromise. But is it really a compromise? That's the question. It used to be definitely, but now manufacturers are making these cars better than ever and they're closing the gap between their regular counterparts quite good. And that's coming from an X4 owner. That said, however, the manufacturers know that very, very well and they will actually charge you a premium in order to be riding in your sloopy roofline vehicle. And for example, this GLE will set you back on average 3000 euros more than a regular GLE. In a typical Mercedes-Benz fashion, you have plenty of different engine options to choose from, such as diesels, petrol engines, and even hybrid models. There is also top-of-the-line 4-liter twin-turbo V8 engine with more than 600 horsepower in the 63S version. This one, for me, the most sensible choice is the GLE 400D. It comes with a 6-cylinder turbocharged diesel with 330 horsepower and whopping 700 newton meters of torque. It combines that very, very good fuel efficiency and still decent performance. Mercedes claims 0 to 100 in 5.7 seconds when we actually time this one in real world example with the winter tires in 6.3 so very very respectable for 2.2 ton vehicle the design is as bold as it gets from a premium suv from an even more premium german manufacturer and this has been only proven by the fact that it comes with a massive kidney grill 22 inch alloy wheels and crisp and sharp lines i think they've made a really really good design the interior of this second generation GLE is a big step up from the previous model and you get across all models a standard article leather seat which stands for fake leather. Of course, for some extra cost you can upgrade to the real deal which is the Napa leather. This car comes with the latest and greatest MVUX system which consists of two 12.3 inch high resolution displays. You can also control it in many different ways such as the touchpads on the steering wheel, the touchpad on the center console and also with the normal touchscreen. If you know Mercedes, you know they have the best in class ambient lighting system and you won't ever be disappointed from it. And one particularly awesome feature that I, I like so much is the rear view camera that is hidden in the rear badge. This means whenever you have bad weather, it will stay clean all the time. Unlike my X4 that it gets messy through the whole winter. Let's move on now to the rear seat. 
one myth I want to debunk straight from the get-go in the rear seats is how cramped they are. And that's because I hear this all the time from any other motoring journalist. I'm more than happy to tell you as an X4 owner, which is an even smaller SUV, that this is definitely not the case. And you can see it here. This front seat is set to my driving position. I'm 180 centimeters tall and I don't know how much space I have for both my knees and my head. And even in my X4, I have never had any problems with taking even taller adults at the rear. So if you're considering a coupe SUV and this is a concern for you, go test it out for yourself and you see what I mean. Let's move to the boot. The boot of this and any other coupe SUV is definitely not as practical as their regular counterparts and I'm not gonna lie to you. However, I can tell you that they're decent and practical enough and this GLE has the biggest boot in its class from its rival. So it's kind of you can call it the most practical from the most unpractical. And there are some really cool features in the boot such as the lift button from which you can lower or raise the air suspension in order to lift heavy stuff. There is also that occasional problem at least that I've experienced from my smaller SUVs. If you want to load up a tow item thanks to that hatchback it will be quite hard and it's not going to be possible sometimes. So we have to plan a little bit ahead which is a good thing because you have to use your brain. After spending the day with this amazing Mercedes GLE 400D Coupe, I'm so pleased to tell that it served its purpose just perfectly. It is great both city and highway cruiser. On the highway, thanks to its improved and efficient aerodynamics, it gives you amazing fuel economy and the benefit of that reduced wind and tire noise. In the city, thanks to their suspension, the car deals flawlessly with potholes and road imperfections. And all cars are coming as standard with all-wheel drive, which gives you two great things. The first is the added safety net in bad weather. And the second, if you want to bring the car, just like we did today, to a light off-road track, it will do perfectly. You can also put the car in sport if you wish, but don't expect anything crazy. It's still 2.2 ton car, but it will surprise you. It is a lot of fun. And that six cylinder engine with 330 horsepower, it will be more than sufficient for any legal open stretch driving. And go. 60, 80, and 100. 6.3 seconds. And last but not least is that 9-speed gearbox. Although, to be honest with you, it can get a bit confused at low speeds. It is flawless and very efficient gearbox at higher speeds. So generally, if I have to say a couple of words for this car, it is almost perfect. So please do consider this car if you're looking for a coupe SUV. I'm so pleased to tell you that this second generation GLE Coupe is as good as it gets. And if you are into the market for some really cool and different looking SUV, this should be on top of your list. But please choose the GLE 63S model if you're into totally insane vehicles. With that said, thank you so much for watching guys. If you made it that far to the episode, hit that like button, consider subscribing and also add me at Pilot Zen on Instagram and tell me what car do you want to see next. From me, till next time. Ciao.